just another freaking victim to the list. Like 17 other guitars. No. I mean. had a flute too. I used to play hip hop beatbox flute all over Canada, Ottawa, and Toronto, BC. <coughs> but I had about four or five of those flutes because they kept exploding my bag with beer or I would bend it on someone's head who was biting my stomach. That was at uh, Ross tonight <coughs> in Caramios with Irie Roots, man, beautiful sister, beautiful. Okay, and now I'm gonna show you the grand tour, okay, of the Earth ship, since you deserve that. I'm gonna start with this brand new. Tiled bathroom. We have a brand new tub. <coughs> and all our water comes from the ground here, but it's super hot. Super hot. <coughs> and and uh, yeah, you're able to have like a nice hot bath every like couple of hours or so. I, I've been having like a hot bath every day the last few days because I'm actually able to stay in the earth ship because there's no one over top of us and I have a concussion kind of thing so it's like for, for painful painful for me but uh, yeah no they're in Cuba right now or something but um <clears throat> They're going to be coming back soon. And, uh... Yeah, then I'm probably going to be heading back into the, uh, to the RV. It's going to be cold for, like, four nights. <clears throat> like, minus... 15 every night and uh, on average <clears throat> but it's better than being on like like freezing outside so it's cold in Canada I met okay I have to tell you guys a story okay I was in uh, Ban Bancroft Bancroft Ontario uh, my whole life like every summer for like 10 summers my family was living there too actually my my dad was head of ER there actually dad he works hard he uh, he fucked up though with the uh things but yeah everyone's on their own journey we make our own choices right so anyway i've uh i've kept in contact with my dad and i recently told him that, <laughs> that i'm working directly for the king and for the president now so, and uh yeah well you saw that email I sent out. <laughs> um, fantastic. I had an amazing birthday. Oh my god, it was so much fun. Two days after uh, the Jesus Day. And, oh god, yeah, well, it was awesome because I don't usually celebrate my birthday, but I got all these birthday. <laughs> I got all these happy birthdays. I was telling Blue Water I got a happy birthday from Michigan Hillbilly. That guy's cool. <laughs> I love that guy so much. He's, he's got the outdoor adventures and the spirit in him. That guy is just like freaking 
awesome like you know because he he's like he's like outside like all the time like and he loves it he loves it that's like genuine like happiness just radiating off that guy because he's got such a good life because he gets to go hiking every day in the vast freaking massive woods of freaking yeah it's huge up there i think they call it the up but uh yeah wow mm -hmm. you rock <laughs> you rock yeah okay and i want to say a special shout out to my friend northman who's killing it over there in uh, germany and uh yeah he's, he's doing important work and uh Especially to my brother, who I haven't uh, met yet, but uh, who is like freaking doing the most important work there, Leon, Leon Sinclair, because that guy is, you know, he is one of the funniest freaking uh, writers, and uh, fuck, I think he's like my new favorite, like, you know? Not just for the content, but just like, it's funny. Like, it's like really funny, you know? Like, it's really funny. I've never read an author of that. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. That level of humor. It's an, an next level, that level of humor. I read a lot. I've read everything. Carl Hyacin, read all the John Sanford, following uh, that, that, uh, Detective out of Minneapolis, St. Paul there. Oh, but the man who's put in the most work out of all of us, who's the most uh, dedicated and hardworking is our man Christian. And Christian is, um, yeah. Christian, it seems, is just like, whew, wow, he is on, like, it's like, whoa, that guy, holy moly. Holy shit. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right. Oh, good. <coughs> All right. Yeah, someone said f fire won't exist, so you can't smoke your pod in 5D. I was like, well, damn. <laughs> I was like, fuck. I was like, shit. <laughs> I was like, fuck. I was like, Fire keeps us warm. We are but simple peasant cavemen here on Earth. So yeah, Christian is like a thousand times, uh, a thousand times better than me, actually. And I'm glad, because I always knew there was going to be s some incredible person one day that, you know, it took me a long time, but fuck, 
no, I've, I found him. Like, I found that guy. Like, and he's a thousand times better than me. And yeah, his compassion is gonna like fucking rock people's fucking world. Like, it's like, oh. that guy so much and uh, <clears throat> he's gonna be the director and the director of New Earth it, it's gonna be him he's a king he's gonna be the king it, there he'll be sitting there like in the top head chair like it's gonna be awesome like, you know he's the guy he's the guy He's the guy we all know. He's the guy we all love. He's the, he's the guy who cares more than anyone else. Like, a thousandfold. Like, he cares. And, Got the blue eyes too. Got the big fucking giant fucking muscles, and he's fucking strong as a fucker. Fucking kick anyone's ass, probably, because he's like so smart. He's like telepathic. He's like super. But blue water, blue water is is telepathic. Blue water. So happy to be here with all of you. It's incredible. Oh, just taking a little break off that fucking shit. Crazy fucking. Fuck. Oh. Okay, we can go check out a few more things and give a shit, okay? Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna turn the light on, okay? There we go. No problem. This is the best thing in the Earth ship. The entire Earth ship. The entire Earth ship. Yes. Who's a good girl? I'm so happy I get to be here with the kitty. Yeah, I've got uh, a very, a very strange kind of a little thing I got. Um, I realized uh, my nail, my nail was split like halfway down, and if it were to catch on something, it would rip my whole fucking nail off my finger. And I've done stuff like that.
I've done that like on my toe a bunch of times. My big toe. It was a, uh, huh. yeah, I had uh, dreadlocks and a ponytail. And I was uh, unjustly treated by a few of the bouncers at a Canadian bar. Oh, I've had my ass kicked by bouncers. Like, they beat the royal crap out of me this one night in Guelph. Like, fucking trappers. Beat the royal crap out of me in that place. Like, he punched me in the stomach, and then his buddy grabs my head and takes my head as I'm going down and smashes my head off his knee. And then they just start beating the crap out of my face and break my nose, and I just ble bleeding everywhere. Like, <laughs> and I wasn't trying to fight them either. Well, maybe I was, but actually it's because one of them had, had grabbed my sister and was holding my sister, and so I, I lost my mind. <laughs> Fucking bouncers, what the fuck? Anyway, that night was in Ottawa, and the bouncers had, uh, they weren't doing the dragging me out, like up the, out the stairs, but, <clears throat> My friend uh, Mark Simon and Aaron Dilio. Mark Simon had shown me a room with all these kegs and I looked in the room and then the next thing I knew the bouncer was jabbing me in the ribs with his two fingers all the way up the stairs and then he grabbed me and him and his friend and they hucked me outside and they're like, uh, what are they doing? They're just, uh, you know, I've would have to t talk about this you know like I've been beat up by police like I've been like thrown in jail like so, like many times like like four or five times I was thrown in jail in the drunk tank like just because cops are total insane maniacs like and they just power trip and they they'll grab you and they'll just beat you or they'll like throw you in the back of their car and they'll just drive you to fucking jail and they'll throw you in fucking cold, cold, cold jail with no blanket and you're fucking like dying. And they're just like fucking like, it's, it's so, so fucking like insane like that they do that to people like, uh. Anyway, we're gonna continue our little voyage here, okay? Splash. Splash. a little area, I guess, for doing art and sewing and stuff. Uh, special things that my mom is making. She's been making some earrings. Earrings, earrings. 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 If anyone would like a genuine earring, just let us know. My mom's usually giving these giving these away. These earrings. So we can mail you one if you want an earring. Oh, here they are. These are the ones she's working on now. Yeah, I like these ones the best, I told her, because of the color. Hmm? Yeah. There we go, that's the color right there. There we go. Nice, little turtle earrings. 
That's nothing. My mom like beads so much. She makes so much crazy stuff. Oh, oh, oh! I'm gonna show you something. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Uh, I'll show you what I got here. I'm just trying to share uh, my stuff there with Louis Jewelry. Oh, I'll show you the geothermal units. They're, they're back here. Okay. This one's. This guy's a, he's an artist. This one. Newfoundland. Look at Newfoundland. It's like it's huge. It's on the edge of the world. It's like crazy. Newfoundland. Okay. Here's his prints. He's uh he's an artist. Let's see his art. Okay, here's his art. Look at Newfoundland. Just like in a crazy air. Oh. Like that's incredible. Like that's so nice. Okay, here we go. Here are his prints. Newfoundland. Newfoundland, like the coldest place ever on the ocean. There, that's Newfoundland. That's what it looks like. See? You see? Here, let's get it more. It's like straight, like, wow. And I think it's all just like black pen and ink. Or, yeah, seems like it's just pen and ink or I don't know what. But yeah, that's this guy. Sometimes he'll put a little like color. Newfoundland. That's the walk with the lanterns. That's how they do it. They can do it good over ice. Like 
incredible. Like, this is his work. Like, you know, freaking. Oh, I like this one. Yeah. Okay, so. Oh, so I'm gonna wrap this video up because it's getting too long. So. I'll just share one more thing and then I'll show you the unit. It's like, jeez, eh? Like, wow. Look at this art. Like, so cool. Oh, come on. Newfoundland. Like, jeez Louise, this guy is like, he must use a pencil or something. Eh? Charcoal. incredible like this art like wow oh yeah this this is good that's like wow he's using like a charcoal or like you know he's using like a piece of charcoal probably to make these giant things sailboat there. Two of them. Oh, we got these. The mummers. That's what they call women. They're bundled up. Oh yeah, this is the one. This one. Yeah. Yeah, this one, this one, this one. Yeah. Oh, see? Wow. Mm. Wow. I'm getting out of here. That's like how you get in to the bay. Newfoundland is like the size of, it's like twice the size of France. This is a different thing. Look, it's different. Look. Okay. Okay. This is his famous shop, the one he made. It's called Fire Down on the Labrador, this painting. Beautiful, eh? Pixie, I'm gonna show you this video. I hope you see this. So pretty. So pretty. Not to say anything about your art, but my love. <laughs> your art's fucking amazing. And yeah, just like, just like I was saying, yeah, like with, with Leon and stuff, and like Leon's a fucking insane, like most incredible work. like. And it's, uh, it's good. It's, it's like, it's hilarious. Like, fucking laugh my, laugh my ass off. Like, it's like, phew, incredible. Like, amazing, amazing. over there uh, and over here we got some some door that leads 
to some other place. Uh, oh, what the hell is this? Oh, no. It's just like a little room. Okay, I don't know. It's very, it's cold in here too. Jeez Louise, but yeah. This entire building is built with these cinder blocks. So it will last forever because it's reinforced on the sides with a whole bunch of reinforcements. Like it's like a hobbit hole because there's a shitload of dirt on each side of the earth shift. But it has a special mechanism. That's like the uh, thing that keeps the air going. So the air always goes in the house, this machine makes the air go. Because if we didn't have it, then there'd be no fresh air in the house. So even though we got a fire going, we got fresh air coming too. And yeah, and I'll take you around and show you the geothermal machine and the, yeah, it's over here. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. Those are my great grandparents. Okay. Yep. It's my mom. She's like 50 and so we have that. And then we have what's this? All four nations. Black, white, yellow, red. And the Jamaica Friendship Bracelet. Guatemalan friend, friendship bracelet that I got from my friend Tom, who's down in Guatemala right now. And I was wearing this for a few days, but I think it slipped off. Thank you, Tom, helping people down there in Guatemala. All right, so this is the uh, system room. All the systematic stuff. Looks like we got two different thingies, two different water heaters. So there's like a surplus of water here. Uh, Tom said, we got lots of water. So he drilled like deep, deep down in this. We got some different machines here because uh, the floor, it's the floor that gets heated up by this machine. Um, people, I think people know about this. They're starting to do it more and more. But, uh, yeah. The machine keeps the floor warm with geothermal. And here is the machine. There it is. It's got a few different parts. There's one. And there's the big llama. And it makes lots of noise sometimes. But, it all gets this entire giant thing, all those things you just saw, it all gets, um, it gets, get it nice and warm the floor and it heats the room and nice the earth ship's cool you can keep it warm and cool in the summer too you can just turn it off and have it cool 